Hey everybody, good evening, and welcome to the Nintendo Wiretap for June 28th, 2017. I'm TJ. Let's take a look at all the things going on in the world of Nintendo for today. If you're a Super Mario Bros. fan and also happen to be a board game aficionado, you're in luck. Hasbro has just announced that its historically popular game Monopoly will be joining forces with Nintendo to bring you an all-new game experience called Monopoly Gamer this fall. The usual Monopoly tokens are swapped out so you can instead use beloved Super Mario characters, with each one featuring its own special power throughout gameplay. You have your choice to play as Mario, Yoshi, Princess Peach, or Donkey Kong. And you play your way through the game with the ultimate goal of defeating Bowser at the very end. This unique twist offers you the chance to focus on gaining points by buying properties, collecting coins, which is replacing the standard money, and beating bosses. For a full breakdown of all the items included with Monopoly Gamer, check out our website NintendoWire.com. Monopoly Gamer is priced at $25 and is available at select retailers. The Monopoly Gamer Collector's Edition is also an option for all you video game and board game collectors out there. Exclusive to GameStop, this version includes a different version of the outer box, a Bowser token, and a Bowser Jr. character card with unique Monopoly game abilities. You can pre-order this edition online or in-store for $39.99. Even more exciting, Hasbro is offering you the chance to enhance your board game experience with the newly announced Nintendo-themed Monopoly Gamer figure packs called Monopoly Gamer Power Packs. Each pack is sold separately and features new character tokens that grant unique abilities to optimize your Monopoly Gamer gameplay experience. Beyond the four aforementioned characters, the following characters are available in the packs. Wario, Luigi, Toad, Boo, Rosalina, Diddy Kong, Fire Mario, and Tanuki Mario. Each pack contains a character token, character card, and a character sticker. Monopoly Gamer figure packs are priced at $4 a piece. For a more in-depth look at Monopoly Gamer and all its board gamey goodness, you can check out the Monopoly Gamer rules video right from our website, NintendoWire.com. So sound off, Nintendo fans. Let us know in the comments section below if this is a game that appeals to you. Personally, I really think it looks like a lot of fun, but I'm not too crazy about the setup and teardown of board games. Any chance for a virtual release on the Switch? because that would be awesome. The countdown to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild DLC Pack 1 continues. We have less than 48 hours until the Blood Moon approaches for the first time in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild's first DLC pack. Over on Nintendo of Japan's site dedicated to the game, an update provided the file sizes for the DLC. Surprisingly, the Wii U's download is a bit heavy to the tune of 3.7 gigabytes. The Nintendo Switch, on the other hand, is not even half a gig, clocking in at 456 megabytes. It's interesting to see the technological gap between the two versions, possibly due to the Wii U version getting getting some extra fine tuning to help support all the new content. This suggests that it's probably likely to expect a dramatic contrast in file sizes this holiday season when the second half of DLC drops. I want to fight a gold Lionel so bad! I cannot wait. Since 1998, the Games Critic Awards have been celebrating the very best in games spotlighted at E3. 2017's process involved 38 global media outlets coming together to pick out their top games from a selection of nominees, and Nintendo didn't do too bad for themselves. Super Mario Odyssey is the big winner, bringing home three awards total. Best Console Game, Best Action Adventure Game, and Best of Show. Coincidentally, these are the exact same categories Breath of the Wild won last year. Mario & Rabbit's Kingdom Battle also took home two awards, Best Original Game, and Best Strategy Game. Don't sleep on this game, folks. The latter is quite significant, as it beat out long-running nominee Total War. Finally, Metroid Samus Returns won against several mobile titles to be crowned Best Handheld Game. The only major losses Nintendo faced were both Pokémon Tournament DX and ARMS, losing to the stellar-looking Dragon Ball Fighter Z for Best Fighting Game. Come on, guys. Let's get that game out on the Switch, huh? And that wraps up the Wiretap for June 28th, 2017. For more on these stories and other Nintendo news, check us out at NintendoWire.com. As always, thanks for joining us. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow for even more Nintendo news. For everyone here at Nintendo Wire, have a great evening, and thanks for playing.